Consider this, everybody. The most important thing to us as Christians is our relationship with God. I think a lot of us would totally agree with that. But there is one factor inside of that relationship that we have to consider, and that factor is you and I. It is ourselves. God is good to us. He continues to be good to us. He continues to keep his promise to us. But we, we are, uh, we are the issue. And so I want to give you two scriptures so that we understand how we can better our relationship with him, but then also how do we better our relationships with each other. I want you to take a look in Ezekiel chapter 11 and verse 19 and 20. And here's what it says. Then I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within them and take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh. And verse 20 says that they may walk in my statutes and keep my judgments and do them and they shall be my people and I will be their God. Another verse uh, very uh, similar to this is in Hebrews 3 and verse 8 which says this, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, in the day of trial in the wilderness. And so we get to talking about this issue of the heart. And if we're in relationships with anybody, including God, we got to deal with our hearts inside of that relationship. I'm gonna tell you about a person named John Gottman. John Gottman, he studied relationships, specifically studying marriages, and he found four issues that when you get into conflict and you get into a stressful situation with another person, if these four issues begin to surface, it begins to speak about how that relationship is breaking down. And so if we think about our hearts, our hearts, we can't let our hearts be hardened. We got to have hearts of flesh. They are flexible. They are pliable. They, they are soft hearts so we can deal with each other. I want you to understand these four things and think about them. Here's number one. The first issue inside of our heart, inside of relationships, when they begin to break down, if you're doing this, you got to fix it. And that first thing is criticism. Criticism sounds like this. You always do this. You never do that. And we continue to kind of tear each other down in criticism. That's something we got to stop altogether. A second one is defensiveness. This is when I assume before you say anything, I'm assuming an attack. And so I put up my defensive, uh, my, my put up my shield. I'm going to be defensive when you're telling me about something. If I'm doing that in relationship, it stops. It halts the relationship. This is one thing we got to throw it away. Here's another one. When criticism becomes full grown, it begins to go into contempt. That's different than criticism because it's like this. You always do this because you're this. You always make us late because you're irresponsible. Uh, you, you always cause this issue because you're an insensitive person. It, it's that contempt when we begin to diagnose the deficit or the issue in somebody else's life and say it's this reason why they're like that, that's when it becomes an issue. And the last one, and many of us do this, it is stonewalling. This is when you go on to complete shut down. I'm not talking, nor am I listening. I am just shutting down totally. I'm stonewalling you in an, in an effort to try to protect myself. It, this is what happens when defensive, defensiveness becomes full grown. These are things we have to, we have to get out of these things. We think that this is just who I am or how I am, but these are issues in the hardness of our hearts. And so what we gotta do, we gotta come to God and saying, God, help me, help me in this. Help me to have a heart of flesh, not this stony heart. God, take this out of me so I can have good relationships, not just with others, but also a good relationship with you, all right? I want you to take some time and think about it.